النظام السوري مو فقط عدو للشعب السوري اللي عم يطالب بالحريه وانما هو ايضا عدو الشعب اللبناني، الشعب العراقي، الشعب الفلسطيني، كل شعوب العالم يلي ممكن بيوم من الايام تقول كلمه ضد النظام السوري. I had no idea what democracy means or dictatorship means. I was just a child. Children are dying. They face, they face constant bombardment. Schools, hospitals, and bakeries have all been targeted. You think like when you survive prison, your life is amazing again. You get back to your new life. You're gonna feel happy. You have a great life. I got out of prison. Just when I arrived to Europe, start to receive calls. When I just create Facebook account or Twitter. Families, mothers, fathers, siblings of detainees call me and ask me, have you seen my son? Have you seen my brother? Have you seen my wife? Have you seen, have you seen, have you seen? In the age of 17, the Syrian government, but I want to call them that dark forces, arrested me and put me in jail. And after four days of having amazing life without torture like can you imagine like have been tortured for like many months then you sit for four days without torture this was amazing لما كنت بعرف انه اخذيني على سيدنايا السجن يلي كل حدا قال لي بالتقيت فيه ب 215 قال لي شايف الرعب الموجود ب 215 الموت التعذيب التعذيب الجسدي الجنسي التعذيب النفسي كله هذا هذا رفاهيه مقارنه بسيدنا يعني. Our life in prison was for hours to sleep, for hours of torture, two hours between you're eating your food and going to the toilet when you have 35 meters to the right to the left. They said we torture you 10 bells. If you silent, it's only 10. If you just scream one time, we're gonna continue until you die. Hello, international community. Um, thank you for these groundbreaking speeches. I'm sure the occupation authorities are really concerned right now. بيتنا اللي تم الاستيلاء عليه 3 11 10 You know I have to ask what is it that I can say today that has not been said before How many Palestinians have stood on this platform for decades and decried the same broken broken promises and unfulfilled UN resolutions To start, it's not really an eviction. It's forced ethnic di displacement, to be accurate, because an eviction implies legal authority. While the Israeli occupation has no legitimate jurisdiction over the eastern parts of occupied Jerusalem under international law. I just want to take a second to correct a little bit of the information. The boy that was arrested in the video earlier is indeed a child. He's um, 16 years old. In fact, many of the 14 people that were arrested today at Damascus is a gate by the Israeli occupation forces were children. Do you support the protests, uh, the violent protests that have erupted in solidarity with you 
and, and, and other families in your position right now. Do you support um, the violent dispossession of me and my family? Impunity and war crimes will not be stopped by statements of condemnation and raised eyebrows. And we have that opportunity today to be on the right side of history. I am asking all of you to be brave. The question of Palestine cannot be resolved without a freed Palestine. Sama, I'm not a film machinic. But the jacket film. شو اللي كنا عم نقاتل مشان لسا عم صور هذا الشيء اللي عم بيخلي معنا لوجودي ضلوا كثير اليوم At the beginning of the revolution, we thought that this is, could be like months or like, you know, two, three months, six months maximum, when the Syrian people will be all, all of them in the street and we were chanting for freedom, democracy. So we thought like, whatever the regime did, the world outside is watching and they will stop that. Everything you've seen in the film is still happening right now. Yeah. And we're still like really still fighting more and more because now the last area out of the regime control, which is Adlib, there's more than three million people, like thousands of mothers, thousands of children, oh, they have it's facing terrible. the same thing. Yeah. So it's more about like, it's, it's called uh, post like PTSD because it's post trauma, but it's the didn't finish yet. And the BAFTA is awarded to Osama. <laughs> In 2016, three years ago, we were in Aleppo. We were in a basement of a field hospital. Hamza, me and Sama and Afra. And we, we heard and we were hearing the, the, sh uh, the shelling and the bomb all the time around us. As we're speaking now, the situation in Syria is still so bad. As we're speaking, there's a bombing and shelling on, mo on over 3.5 million civilians. Let them hear your voice. Thank you so much.